Yo, what's up, YouTube? The Sandbox Spectrum here, and this is Black Ops Declassified on the PS Vita. Vita, and this is a multiplayer overview of uh, just the multiplayer, and of me playing on one of the six maps. Uh, this map is Container. Uh, the other maps include Nuke House, Shattered Intel, Rocket Container, and Range. Uh, these are all maps that were previously in. Uh, Black Ops and were shrunken down to fit for the PS Vita since uh, it can only run a 4v4, 4v4 online. Uh, the maps will be smaller so it can fit. Um, and Container is uh, a shortened or a smaller version of Shipment, which is actually not even smaller. It's just it's a perfect size for the PS Vita because all the other maps are small and this map was perfect from COD 4. But um, in the gameplay, I'm playing with an AK-74U with rapid fire and accuracy, which improves hit fire accuracy and uh, rapid fire, which makes your gun shoot faster. And I'm also using the bouncing buddy and um, just the regular concussion grenades. And I do pretty well in this match, but I'm not really doing trying to show you skills. I'm trying to show you just... An overview of the multiplayer and but I did do pretty well I got center guns and a copper so yeah um, some things I want to say about multiplayer is that it's uh, you really need a lot of Wi-Fi like like you need to be like right next to the Wi-Fi or have a really good connect connection to play because if you don't it's gonna be really hard to play it's gonna take forever to kill people and you're not even gonna be able to kill them and you're just gonna die randomly all the time so that's kind of a downside you always need to be next to like a wi-fi uh, source so that's not the best um i did lose like start to lose some of the connection during this game and i'll show you examples of later what can happen if you are not next to good wi-fi but um yeah I, all in all it was a pretty good gameplay but um some things you want to look out for if you're playing this game in higher levels is the bouncing Betty's, and these things can easily kill you. It, it's easy kills, but also easy deaths, and you can kill yourself from them too. If you and an enemy both run at them, uh, it'll kill you too, but it'll kill them if they don't have a flank jacket on, which uh, you're really going to need if you're a higher level up, and there's a ton of people using bouncing Betty's. Just remember to use the flak jacket, and you'll be good. Sorry about the uh, glare from the light, as you'll see sometimes during the gameplay uh, at the top of the PS Vita. Uh, it's my bad. I d didn't want to do it over again. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, if it's a little dark, sorry about that, too. And uh, I got some nice, uh, like, double kills and triple kills. But, um... Sorry about that, I was adjusting my seat. But uh, my favorite gun in the multiplayer is the AK-74U because uh, I like the uh, close range guns and the AK-74U is really good at close range. And it's also good at long range if you can get still enough and so is the enemy. So pretty much, yeah, it's, it gets good all in all. And with that rapid fire, it's really good. It doesn't affect the recoil too much. But, um... I like it, and the accuracy uh, for hit fire, it's it's good if you're right next to an enemy for closer ranges, and he just someone just pops up right next to you, and I just got the sentry gun right there, and a good thing about the sentry gun in this game is when you call it down, it's practically instant, like it'll show up right in front of you, uh, as you'll see right here. So I threw it, and here it is already, much faster than the regular care package. In this game too, and uh, sentry guns in this game are really good. Uh, you can you can get so much kills if the enemy doesn't have the perk where it you can't get seen by the sentry guns. That that really does not like your sentry gun. It, those guys really take out your sentry guns fast. But also I got the uh, copper right there. Uh, I like the I like the uh, helicopters in this game. They're pretty powerful, but they only get shot down in one shot, which is like some other Call of Duties. Uh, not a 
I mean, I, I really like the helicopters, but it's a nine kill streak to get, which is kind of it could be bad for some people if they're not that good. But uh, you can get, you um a good thing also in this game is you can use your kill streaks to get other kill streaks. So if I got two kills with the sentry gun, I'll get the helicopter. So as you see, I just finished the match there, did pretty well, and um, well, that's pretty much the overview of the actual multiplayer. So now let's get into some of the settings for the uh, multiplayer. And there I'm almost level 40, I'm going to prestige soon. But let's take a look, you can look at the uh, lobby leaderboards from the screen, your barracks, your combat record pretty much. As you can see right there, I just pointed to how much time I've played, I don't really have a life. Uh, you can see your challenges here for all your guns. Uh, there, um, it's just like, just the attachments, not really the attachments, but like the rapid fire, the accuracy, the kick. Um, all that stuff, you get kills, you get XP right there, and then the normal uh, stuff right there, uh, you can also edit your clan tag, but uh, leaderboards for everything, uh, challenges, but yeah. Uh, here is just the options where you can navigate through, you can uh, change your sensitivity and stuff, uh, you can also change your look intervention, and you can see if... Um, Sorry, if you can uh, enable sprinting the whole time, and here from the main main menu is, you can see the, the uh, your your score for the match you just did, and you could also look at everything you did from inside of the game lobby, like the creative class, the options, the leaderboards, and uh, here's the matchmaking, so you can set up like a private match, and um, those were all the uh, game types right there. So, um, now let's get a look at the Create a Class. Uh, I'll show you all, most of the guns, or actually all the guns and the perks. So, you get five custom classes, and you can't get more from prestiging. Uh, once you prestige, you still have five. But, uh, let's take a look at the primary weapons. And, as you'll see while I'm switching through them, a lot of my guns are level 20. It is not hard at all to rank up your gun to level 20. It's not like, uh, Modern Warfare 3, where... Level 19 would be easy to get to, and then level, or was it like, level 29 would be easy to get to, and then once you get to gold level 31, it's impossible to get. I mean, it's just easy all the way through. It'll probably take you three, maybe four, at the most, uh, matches to get your level, gun up to level 20 with quite a bit of kills. So, uh, yeah, there is a lot of guns from previous Call of Duties in this, in this game. A lot of the, uh, the good ones. Uh, actually, I think all the uh, Black Ops ones are in here, too. And uh, here are the specials, which they did not take out. The Blisk Knife and the Crossbow. Which, the Crossbow is just like a throwing grenade. It's really good. And uh, here are some of the perks. Uh, perk 2, I think, is probably one of the worst. Because there's, like, nothing good in there. And most of the perks have been changed a little. So that they do different things than what they did in the console version. And a lot of the kill streaks were taken out too. Here are the uh, simple ones. The only good ones are pretty much uh, sentry gun, helicopter, and UAV. I like to use that a lot. And uh, so yeah, that's pretty much your creative class. And on a side note, uh, the Call of Duty Black Ops menu does not utilize the touch screen at all. Like as you see, I'm trying to click anywhere on the screen and you pretty much have to use the analogs for everything. Uh, this, you can only use the, uh, touchscreen in-game, and I thought that was kind of a bad feature that they put in. But, um, you can also use the back touchpad, though, but you can only use it for things such as snipers, and that's to hold your breath. As you can see right there, it says, please touch the rear touchpad to hold your breath, or I forget what it said. But, uh, here, you listen to the, uh, the guy breathing in, and that's when I touch the rear touchpad, and yeah. And on a side note, the quick scoping in this game with the sniper is pretty easy, and it's it's fun to play around with. Uh, it's it's just like you aim right at the target and shoot, and it's that's about it. It's not like any other Call of Duty quick scoping that's like impossible. So there's that, and then a little fail moment right there in between the two enemies. So, yeah, that's pretty much just a side note there. And uh, for prestiging, prestiging was a pretty fun thing to do. 
uh, you prestige once you reach level 40. And uh, pretty much what you do is it gives you a prestige token, like Modern Warfare 3, where you can carry anything through to the next prestige. So um, you can do you can carry out anything perks, kill streaks, equipment, uh, weapons. Uh, I wanted to do the AK seven for you as you can see in the um, in the video of me getting the helicopter and the sentry gun. Uh, yeah, so if choose wisely, like if you want to get the bouncing Bettys, you can. But just imagine the people with the flank jacket uh, because that's like one of the first things you get. So, I mean, not the best idea, because everyone will have flat jacket. So, once you get what you want, you can uh, put it into your create a class menus at level 4, which is, which is the level, level where you can start customize, customizing your uh, create a class. So, once you've done that, you're, you're done prestiging. Remember, level 4, le I mean level 40, is when you can pr prestige and... Yeah, uh, and remember, once you prestige, the games are based on kill or on skill, so on level. So uh, if you're level one, you're gonna be paired with level ones and twos, maybe like up to like level ten at the most, maybe thirteen. But uh, yeah, you just remember to use that because they're gonna be playing against a lot of noobs once you prestige. And so. That's about it. This is the uh, Black Ops Declassified Multiplayer Overview. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if I forgot anything, please let me know so I can redo it or add it in. So, yeah. Thank you for watching.